I'm Sheldon Williams. And I'm Ashley Ford. And we're on Decisive Motion. Dance is kind of, um, well for a while it's been kind of my full time job, um, but obviously you, like, it's really hard to make money as a dancer depending on what you're doing, like the main thing to do is really like teach because um, that's like the easiest way to get money and obviously like book jobs doing like back and dancing, music videos, like all of that kind of stuff as well, um, but even still they kind of underpay dancers in general, especially for the hard work that we put in for like rehearsals, all of that kind of stuff. But for some people it's like a hobby, some some people it's just like a part-time thing. Yeah. Um, I mean lately, it's been a long full-time for me lately. I've just been getting into it, but it's still hard. Financially, it's kind of hard as a dancer, so. I mean, luckily we've got the support of our parents behind us as well, so that helps. But you're always gonna need the main thing, and that's money. Yeah. And that's hard to come down this business, but keep pushing. A lot of people think anyone can do like um, street dance or like hip hop or whatever style you're trying to do under the bracket of street dancing. Because yeah. obviously you see ballet and then not everyone can do ballet, but then why is it when people say, oh yeah, street dance, and then anyone thinks that they can do street dance? Yeah. For me, it was a thing of, um, at first I did it as a hobby. I started dancing because my boyfriend, um, he owned the group that we met at, which is Vortex. And it started as a hobby because I also played um, professional cricket as well. So I was trying to get into break into that. In March, in September, my dad died. So dance has just been a massive part of my life. So um, I think it's one of the things that kept me sane. And the thing about dance is it brings people together and it shows like your real friends and stuff like that, such as Sheldon, such as Tamar that have been there for me through dance. So, um, I mean, I, especially you can show your emotions and stuff like that through dance. So, for me, it became a big part of my life from then. And then so, I took it serious and I, I continued to take it serious because if it's got that power, then it can take me anywhere where I need to go. For the tar hands that'll slide through your pockets at the bar, man. A rinse, ha, but my name ain't genius. Came down to look the whole game like Jesus. Disbelievers get disbelievers. Cut the beggar found blood runs thick and deep. Yo, I get you get the support from your group to like do stuff. If obviously, like, if you're the dancers in your group are really committed and everything, then like together you can obviously like strive to be better and to like reach to the top and everything. Um, but if you're like a solo dancer who's doing more like commercial stuff and you go to auditions and try and be on TV and everything and you're not really part of a crew, that's kind of hard. Like I'm not one of those dancers, but I would think it would be kind of hard because like you need to rely on yourself more than like relying on someone else to help you with a performance. Like you rely on yourself to go to that audition, to be the best at the audition and to like obviously get the job. I think either way, in either bracket, what you're in is still hard because, um, like he's saying, you don't have to rely on people. But with us, sometimes we do have to rely on people, like, and sometimes relying on people isn't the greatest thing. So, basically, <laughs> you know what I mean? We've been there as well, yeah, like, numerous of times to do competitions. We've been let down by people that said they're going to be there and they're not. And then in the bracket of dancers that we kind of fit into. As long as you have, like, your family, like, or, like, you would say your dance group, but it's more than a dance group. It's more like 
you're like brothers and sisters and, yeah. and you're in a family like trying to do something all together like as long as you have that then that's kind of the support that you can get out of like dance. This is our group now. Yeah. Um, uh, Real Talk Dance. Um, basically we, qualify, yeah. Real Talk Dance. we qualify for the World Hip Hop Championships in Las Vegas as well. So yeah, I mean... Well I do, um, obviously we have been in other crews and yeah. stuff. Um, like when we started dancing, obviously we ended up in the same crew. And then I branched out to do some other stuff. Right now, I'm also in a company called Bird Gang Sounds Company. We're wearing high demand right now. Yeah. Um, real talk, just, we just took off. I mean, our choreo um, is not like any others in the UK. Look out for our YouTube page, yeah. which is youtube.com forward slash real talk dance um we're going to be uploading like thousands and thousands of videos uh, i mean there's um, someone there now so yeah obviously if there's someone there now have a look um but there's a lot more to come like there's a lot of stuff that people don't see on stage that we're yet to release yeah. um we're literally looking to dip our hands into everything we're performing at a company called unity they're doing another fundraiser we're going to try to do shows that keep it moving yeah all of that kind of stuff yeah. Check our YouTube page, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Twitter, all of that. Real Talk Dance, so make sure you check that out as well. Everything's just Real Talk Dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. Literally, so. I mean, your Twitter, your personal Twitter as well. Oh, um, this is my first name, C H A L D O N J W, so it's at Sheldon J W. Yeah, I might just um at uh, real talk Ashley F. So yeah, just look up for that. Yeah. So Ashley, signing out. Signing out. Peace. <laughs> right back to that money slinging O's in the PJ. Yeah. I'll probably catch a mileage while the pilot stay the PJ. Whoa. Cause we next and we flex, flex like 90 PX. Whoa. Working all night, no breaks or recess. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, I know my car.